Hey, we are. Where are we? Hey, where do you think we are? Where do you think we are right now? I'll tell you where we are. We're in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Just waiting for it to pop up on the screen to prove that I'm in Las Vegas. San Diego. <laughs> hey, what? San Diego. That's the, that's not real. There's two things you need to know. Uh -huh. I'm the king. And number two is look out, man. Look at that. Come at you. See that? Welcome to the first match of the evening. This is one that I'm going to put this to rest forever. I cannot wait until this this argument that I've made for the last almost full fucking year is is just stupid at this point. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, you didn't do it. You didn't do it. You didn't kill this guy. You didn't beat this guy first try. That's fine. We'll find out tonight what really is going on. Because we got the first match of the evening out of five total here. Is German 985 in a one-on-one -on -one match, looking old as shit, losing his hair. That's what I look like right now. Ow. Somebody just went, ow! German on i5 is uh, getting a little higher in age, as I just said. 30, uh, 33. I feel 53. And it's funny, because every time we do one of these rumbles, I, I always make me how I currently feel. That's how I feel right now. Like, I, the last time I was, like, fat, the, you did boo with me, and that's fine. You boo me on my own channel, I don't give a shit. But who could I be facing? To finally put this bullshit to rest forever. Ladies and gentlemen. My opponent for the first match of the evening is one of the easiest bosses in Dark Souls. That's right, we're talking about a person that I absolutely did not lose to. That's Pinwheel! Extreme rules, one-on-one. -on -one. Will I beat Pinwheel again without dying? Because that's what I did. <laughs> Will I do it? And then we can stop this. Whatever happens here on out. If I lose, I'll, I'll accept it. If I win, you all gotta stop that shit. This ain't even this ain't a meme stream, but I'm telling you, we're making the cannon tonight. Go get him! Go get him! What is he doing? He's what? He's he's being a I don't know. He's being a slow Dark Souls boss, an easy boss, but I will absolutely beat within five minutes because I'm the one in control. As you'll see very plainly, but I've gotten older. No entrance music, and there's a very good reason for that. Uh, apparently, uh, you can you can get you can get in trouble with copyrighted music these days. So I've heard. <laughs> no entrance music, really is. <laughs> Let's go! Hurry up! Get the fuck in there, pinwheel. He has taken a long time. What? Jer Germ is outside the ring getting ready. Starting his new exercise routine while Pinreel really milks this intro for good measure. <laughs> what a good way to make sure everybody gets here. And there it's all angry. Oh, you, you suck. You lost to Pinreel. No, I didn't. And I'm about to prove it right now. Welcome to Germania 2018. Ring the bell. One on one extreme rules. Germa versus Pinwheel. Couple of right handed punches there to start. Germa. Is old, but can still hang with a young kid. Right into the turnbuckle, his face goes twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven times. Ooh, German with a little stop there, but he missed. Got him in a headlock. He's gonna, no, he's gonna go. Ooh, a little elbow to the face. Pinwheel now on the reversal. Into the corner, Germa goes. Pinwheel, uh-oh. He's turning him upside down. He's tying him. He's tying Germa to the turnbuckle and now stepping on his face. That was an interesting uh, tree of woe there by Pin. Is that made out of concrete? That, that's not gonna win. No, 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 that's one. That, there's no way I'm gonna lose that one. I'm not gonna get pinned after getting my hit. Ooh, what a beautiful breakdance move into a German suplex by German. Absolutely fantastic. 
You can hear the crowd, half of them really getting behind me, half of them yelling about how short I am. And, the, and another 200 people screaming about how I lost. You can, you, can, you, can, you can really hear the, oh, what a miss by Pinwheel there. He, can Jerma capitalize on it? No, he's going to get a reverse. Oh, what a reverse neckbreaker there by Pinwheel on Jerma 985. He dropped the 985 recently in recent years. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's because no. Ooh! Beautiful reversal. Maybe it's because uh, numbers back in the day of YouTube where everybody had a numbered channel. But you didn't even really, I don't know why, and people had their birthdays. Why would you ever put your birthday online for a bunch of people to see? And now it looks like German is going to try the same technique on Pinwheel. The crowd didn't really like that, but it wasn't going to be enough. Let's see, one. No, only one. Only one. Now, this remember, this is an Extreme Rules matchup. So that means... Every <laughs> I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Whoa! What a hurricane run! A springboard! We saw him do these moves in the green screen. Now he's setting up for a special move, I think. Yep, it's called the Whoops-a-Daisy! That's old German's special technique, the Whoops-a-Daisy. He grabs you by the wrist and just falls backwards as you lie down on your back, too. German into the corner. Are we gonna see... Uh-oh. Are we gonna see it? Are we gonna see the diaper? No, oh, that wasn't the diaper. I thought it was gonna be the diaper. That was the double-fisted. Uh-oh, he's going to the top rope. Got up there real quickly. What are we going to see from Turbo? Oh, it's the stomp. The step on your chest. And that's that's got to be it. That has to be it. One. Two. Oh, just barely. He didn't make it. Pinwheel just barely got out of that one. I said, somebody better check his shoes. Somebody check Jeremy's shoes. I think there's fucking weights in there. He might be cheating. He doesn't want to be lambasted and accused and made fun of for the rest of his life. People are cheering. Pinwheel now. He's got him in a submission lock. Is German going to... No! He... Oh, I thought he tapped out for a second. I was about to scream. Ooh, out to the outside we go. And German's feeling the adrenaline. You can just smell his armpits from here. They smell like dove men plus care. And he's going to the top rope. He's pointing down. This is a daredevil move here from Turbo. Will he? What's he gonna do? Oh, shit! I don't know why. That was so unnecessary. That hurt Germa probably more than it hurt Pinwheel. All I did was hurt my legs. Why wouldn't you kick him? Why wouldn't you jump on him? And now a DDT into the concrete. And he stepped on his balls, too. For good measure. Are we gonna get a pin on the outside? Where are they taking this? Just two extremely tall. Uh oh. Pinwheel is going underneath the. And he's got a pull cue. No, he doesn't want it. it is, I don't want that. He didn't. Oh! Big mistake. A capitalization from Jerma. The slap. Is he going to go into the. No, it's a reversal. Back down. I'm not sure why he picked up that pull cue there. He's not even going to use it. He, I think he. I don't think he wants to cheat. I think he wants to beat Jerma fair and square. I'm like, uh oh. I think Jerma might be dead. Jerma's face just erupted. The red marker means you're in trouble. Is Jerma gonna tap out here? No, 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 he's not gonna tap out. He's not gonna tap out. Jerma's got more perseverance than this. Good reversal there by Jerma. As the referee is standing there awkwardly just trying to figure out, ooh, what to do about this whole thing. And they're going up the alley. He throw Jerma gets thrown into the entranceway. I think he might have a headache. Trying to get back in, both going at the same time. Her, uh, the pool cue's still on the ground. Nice DDT. Perfectly executed, and uh, Germa is bleeding from the head. Uh, did Germa get... He didn't... What happened? Oh, right into the concrete. That's right. Ooh, two clotheslines. Three clotheslines. Will it be enough? Is he going to go for a pin potentially here? No, he's going to pick him up. And punch him in the face. Does Germa know any other moves? A reverse soup... Ooh. That was a reverse suplex. Could that be it? Is that gonna, that, that's going to be it, I think. One... Two! Three, that's it! That's it! Jerma beats Pinwheel first try! He got him with the reverse soup! And everybody's booing, and they can boo all they want. It's proven. That's it. No more of this bullshit. I beat Pinwheel on stream first try. Look at all these awesome moves that I did. <laughs> I was surprised that the double stomp diaper trash did not uh, seal the deal there for him.
We did have a nice move by Pinwheel here. It was a DDT. Uh, people, uh, people in the audience right now, in the arena, are, are screaming right now. Oh, hold on, Jerma's got something to say. Yeah, see? First try, he's holding up the one finger. First try. I'm as angry as he is. He's taunting Twitch chat right now, saying, yeah, like, look, look what I did. <laughs> By the way, that's an actual picture of my face. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the six-man, six-man ladder match. The six participants are a lot, a lot of people that you guys know. There's the money in the bank. It's uh, two $20 bills. I said there's like a hundred grand in there, but I lied. And there's Chuck Schnozwell! Contestant number one! In the money in the bank, six man! Grab the briefcase challenge. Chuck Schnozwell, uh, one of the murderers of the Sims murder house. And you probably could guess who the other five contestants are. Maybe you can't. Everybody loves Chuck. The schnoz, as they call him in the locker room. Because he's got really great teeth. That's what they say. <laughs> oh, Twitch chat really seems to like that. I wonder, ooh, hold on a minute. Who is the next contestant of the six-man ladder match? Six man? Uh, why don't you add six woman? That's D56TAFO98. One of the other members of the Sims murder house. D56. Very adamant on coming in here and winning. Landed on this planet. Ten years ago. Nice slide. You can't practice that five times. D56 started trying to show up to the crowd, get some uh, people to back her endeavor here. You gotta let them have at least a few minutes in the ring, you know what I mean? You can't skip their beloved entrance. Contestant number three coming in here. No, no, she's got more to say. No, oh, well, I can't really hear what she's saying. Because she's, uh, she's not mic'd up. But anyways, here comes the third contestant in the... And they're getting booed here. There are loud boos coming in for Fru-Fru! <laughs> and if you could wildly... <laughs> if you could guess... Yeah. This is... This, this is... They're all here. Fru-Fru. One of the worst people in the whole house. Nobody liked him. I don't like him. And people ironically like him, but he sucks. I hope he doesn't win. I'm glad he's getting booed. Nice anime stance. He's a big fan of anime. That's what he says. But that's what they say in the locker room. <laughs> you know, because of his hat. <laughs> I like him. I like him. Well, that's fine. He's ready. Contestant number four. Let's see who it is. That's Garrett. Garrett from the murder house. Just kind of a regular guy with a weirdly shaped head. There wasn't really anything crazy about him. He's, he's practicing his Sims dance, because they are Sims, right? That, that is very important for you to realize. They've been computer-generated, scanned into the, uh, into the German wrestling universe. You think you'd have any other moves besides put your fists out back and forth? Get him the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, that t-shirt took like an hour and 40 minutes to make. So, let's just be real about that. That's not in the game. <laughs> Coming up next, number five. After Garrett. 
I really hope that people are prepared for this one. That's Adam Sandler! He's coming out doing his patented... He's known for that. One of the most talented comedians of our... of our generation. I mean, probably ten generations. Such comedic routines as Baby Noise. Um, does the same weird voice. And uh, thinks they're way funnier than they are. And no, I'm not describing me. I mean, I am. But, I mean... Look, he's a fucking funny guy, okay? He's really talented. He's really funny. And uh, this commentator's coming to a very strong realization in the right in the middle of it. Don't matter. Somebody said that before, didn't they? It doesn't matter. Here comes Wally Wheat. Wally Wheat's the real contestant, and he's gonna wipe the floor with all these motherfuckers in the ring. Here are your six. The Sims Rumble. The Sims Murder House Ladder Match. These they're, these people in this ring right now, all of them, are insane. They will all, they will kill. They will kill. They have no problem with it. Half of them are not even from this planet. Dangerous people. Incredibly dangerous people. What do you say you ring that bell? Six man ladder match, ladies and gentlemen, the Sims Murder House. Chuck, wasting no time. He's going outside to go to the ladder. Adam Sandler now with a reversal on D56. Chuck does not want this to last long. He's got the ladder already. It hadn't even been 10 seconds while well, Fru Fru is going to see if he can make that a different story. Well, head to the apron outside the ring for Chuck. Adam Sandler now with the offensive. There are no teams here. Keep that in mind. Nobody is on any team. Whoever gets to the top of that ladder first wins. Now Adam Sandler <laughs> doing his patented funny noise. Let me see if I can top him. Let me see if I can top him. Hey, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. We're not so different, you and I, Adam. <laughs> Adam Sandler goes over the top ropes. And now they're outside while D56 has got Adam Sandler by the head. Smashing his head into the steps. Well, Garrett. What, something we didn't know about Garrett, he seems to be a pretty talented submission artist. Well, Fru Fru is on the outside, trying to get his composure. No one has touched the ladder, or anything else for that matter. Well, speak of the, speak of the devil here, Wally Wheat's got the ladder going over to Garrett. No, Garrett's gonna rip it out of his hands! No, I don't know what the deal is with that, why do they put it down? You have a weapon! You're a bloodthirsty murderer! Use it! Uh, what a wonderful bulldog by... DF5694, whatever your name is, you're not, you're not supposed to be able to understand it, it's not even English, it's, it's like a weird alien, it's a weird alien dialect. Garrett with, oh, what a, what a reversal by D56! And a scoop slam coming up, no, is, is D56 gonna dump him over the rails? No, she holds back, she does hold back. As Wally Wheat now in the corner, Chuck Schnozwell, it seems that they've all been training. Vigorously. Oh, what a pose by Fru Fru. That's the, you gotta, you have to get him out of the ring. You know what I'm saying? There's six people. No one's ever gonna climb to the top of this thing. You gotta throw him over the top. You gotta go get a weapon. Go grab like a grenade or something. That's not, oh, we got three in the ring. This could end very quickly. Garrett thought about it for a second. Now I'm gonna get the ladder. Garrett's got the ladder. No, I don't want that. I think I'd rather pick this guy up like a backpack. Oh, it's, that's the backpack! That's Garrett's special move! I can't believe we just saw that. that that's the backpack! Adam Sandler now coming in with a couple of punches. What a reversal by Garrett! Garrett is on fire here. If I'm going to make a bet here, I'm going to say Garrett's going to be the one to take the money in that briefcase and win the murder house brawl, as we're going to call it. What a fireman's carry knee smash to the spinal column. That's the name of her move. That's her special move. That's her special move. As D56 is going to grab. No, and finally we get to see the ladder used. 
D56 is going pretty much all in on Adam Sandler. Oh, it's get ta it gets taken, and nobody's really trying to do anything with the ladder besides small pushes to somebody's face. We could see blood here. D56 now. Trying to work that bad knee on Chuck Schnozwell. Because his nose is so large, other parts of his body are weaker. He's got bad knees, bad elbows, but he could have a real strong fucking nose. Garrett now has got the lat. Didn't even phase her at first. That was a little odd. Dropping the ladder again. Garrett's going for Chuck Schnozwell into the corner. He's facing the ground. Ooh, what an elbow to stop that. No, another reversal. They all trained in the same dojo, by the way, from what I'm being told on my desk here. Uh, when they first got there, what? She throws it over the top ropes! Essentially handing it to somebody on the outside. Adam Sandler contemplating his next movie script. Will it involve a giant Pac-Man? I'm not sure, but it's gonna involve a broken neck! Nice reverse back neck breaker by Adam Sandler. And a Russian leg sweep here, too. We've got a problem here, though. Chuck Schnozwell on the top with... D56 is going to be a superplex off the top turnbuckle. Oh, that's a broken alien spine. She is out. She's out cold. Maybe not. But what I was going to say is they all trained at the same dojo from what I, what I got on my paper here. And weirdly enough, uh, they were thrown out of every dojo beside... They ended up going to some back alley dojo. And not even... That's not even... Uh, Sanctioned, it's not even, uh, you know, it's not, there's no, it's not like unionized, there's no, it's, it's, it's just like it was an alleyway that they were allowed in because they kept bringing uh, glass tubes, they're bringing knives into the other dojos to try to fight each other and they were just like throwing the fuck out. People were saying, you can't bring those in here. So they ended up getting trained by an unnamed uh, sensei. And uh, the, the, they're the sensei question mark. And I'm, I'm not, it's, it's, I'm, it's actually the word, question space mark. That's the person's name. So, and wait, Garrett's going up there. Just barely. Everyone just kind of stopped doing something for a minute here. No, 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 no. Garrett's going to get that. Is he going to get that money? Does, did Garrett just sneakily? No. He stopped it. Garrett almost just sneakily got up there and picked up that entire, that was insane. I can't believe they just almost let that happen, and now Chuck has got the ladder. We are seeing fatigue settle in right now. As Chuck is going to try to get the ring cleared. There goes D56. Chuck Schnozwell is going up there. Will it be enough? Wally Wheat is out cold. Chuck Schnozwell's got the briefcase. Is he gonna... Oh, they're gonna help. They're gonna work together. Oh, it just hit Adam Sandler in the face. I can't believe it. they actually work together. No, oh, not for long. Not anymore. Ooh. <laughs> and the alliances stop right there. Molly <laughs> Wade is getting killed by the ladder. Garrett now is going to make another attempt here. Is he going to be able to get up there? This could be it. Garrett's got a chance. What a punch to Adam Sandler's face. Come on, D56. You got to get up there. Garrett's going to get it. Garrett's going to get it. No. <laughs> is this gonna be it? Garrett is on the edge. They're both on the edge. Garrett just fell off. Wally Wheat now. Can D56? Can she make the attempt? Uh oh. He. No! She. <laughs> Why did she step down? Why did she step down <laughs> off the ladder? Anyway, oh. <laughs> and now we've got a foreign object in the middle of the ring here. <laughs> Fru Fru is now going absolute ham on the back of D56 with that big piece of steel. Adam Sandler just keeps finding his way outside and getting hurt outside. Ooh, what a clobber into the forehead. That at least 30 pounds of steel. Not even gonna set it up, he's just doing... No, it's gonna get reversed again. Reversed again. Doesn't want the ladder, does want the ladder. Who knows what the fuck they're doing. Huh? <laughs> just a little tap to make sure that you wouldn't get it again. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> what the fuck? What was that? <laughs> well, if we now seize an opportunity after Fru Fru just broke Garrett's back with his knees, is this ever gonna end? Is there ever gonna be an opportunity for one of these psychos to put this shit up and go grab that money? Adam Sandler now in the ring for the first time in probably five minutes. Nice snap neck breaker there. Setting him up for it. Look at the exhaustion. Everybody's so tired. I don't think no one's gonna be able to climb to the top of this thing. Garrett's been really consistently the only one that's cared. And he's currently still has the ladder. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler's got Chuck Snowswell. What a joke! <laughs> he tried to do it again. He tried to do it to somebody else. He tried to do two in a row, but he couldn't get it. He missed with the other one. As Garrett now, these two have done this over and over and over again, back and forth, trading the ladder. What a somersault heel kick by Garrett. <laughs> Garrett now, what a leg drop there. The ladder is finally set up and Garrett has a beautiful sneaky opportunity here. Can he get the briefcase? He's got two of his hands on it. Can he unclip it? I think he might be able to get it. D56 now is barely, no, barely just stopping it. Is D56 going to be taking a capitalization here? This is it. This is going to be it. D56 has almost got it. Fru Fru is seizing opportunity to push it over. No, is she still holding on? Oh! That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. That's it. Fru-Fru just has to climb up and grab it. He is completely, he's got a free, no traffic, there's no lane. Uh-oh, Chuck is seeing, they're both seeing it now. But was it too late? They were too busy fighting each other. What is Wally Wheat doing? Why would you do that? Why would you just, what? She can't push it. No, he wins. She couldn't push it. She didn't, she ran out of strength. Fru-Fru is your winner of the Sims Murder House ladder match. The fucking worst character just won. Why would you clip that of all the things? That guys, don't worry. There's, there's like fucking snakes in there. He's gonna open that and his life is gonna end. So, don't worry. 2v2 table match. Let's see who it is. Hailing all the way from Monster Rancher. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That's Beanbag Sonic. Are we gonna get to see it? Are we gonna get to see it? We, there it is. Beanbag Sonic makes his first appearance ever in the rubble. Top seed. Yep. And Beanbag Sonic's partner. <laughs> Beanbag Sonic's partner. We gonna see another dab? Oh, nice. that was a nice move. Is it the mosquito? It's not the mosquito. It's somebody else. Somebody equally as important in the Monster Rancher streams and the PlayStation 1 streams in general. Beanbag Sonic's partner for the table match is... Sweet Rind. Rewind to the Rhine, ladies and gentlemen. There is Sweet Rhine. Beanbag Sonic is Sweet Rhine. Uh, he is fucking huge. <laughs> well, he's they're very large. 
They're monsters. He's a giant wall. What do you expect? And their opponents! From Point Blank! That's Dr. Dawn! Can you guess who his teammate will be? Who? That's Dr. Dawn from Point Blank! <laughs> you guys don't know who this is? Well, then you're not gonna know his partner, Dr. Dan! Wait, did nobody watch those streams? I streamed that like four times. Did with, where, did those streams have low viewers? Well, some some of you guys know who Dr. Don and Dr. Dan is. It's not a clone. That's not a clone. That's a different person. It's not copy and paste. Go look him up. Dr. Don and Dr. Dan. <laughs> I hope they fucking win. I hope they fucking win. I hope they destroy these two. Beanbag Sonic and Sweet Ryan versus Dr. Don and Dr. Dan. PlayStation 1 battle. And it is a table match. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Don is, is getting a table immediately. And Sweet Ryan has got a table. The match has just begun. Beanbag Sonic. Two tables are inside of the ring right now. Sweet Ryan is huge. Sweet Ryan is too big. How do I edit this in the middle of the stream and make him like 30% smaller? Dr. Dawn with a, with a nice spinning heel kick. Beanbag Sonic using his upper body strength on Dr. Dan. And I may have mixed the two of them up. No clones, by the way. Ooh, what a delicious right-handed punch into the face of, well, does Sweet Ryan have a face? I can't even tell, I don't know. Does Sweet Ryan have a head? DDT, they're a big fan of that. Well, now we got... Hold on, there's a problem here, though. Dr. Don and Dr. Dan are both in the ring. Beanbag Sonic is outside in pain. All it takes is one of those tables to get set up, and this could be over. Yeah, Dr. Don and Dr. Dan, they're not clones. Dr. Dan has three inches of reach, a larger head. Ooh, right under the table, which is probably a better surface to land on. Are we going to see the Sweet Ryan special move? I'm not sure. I did make sure to put it in. I wonder if we'll see it. All right, I can't tell who did the move there. What a jumping scissor kick to Beanbag Sonic's stomach. Everybody talked all this shit about Dr. Don and Dr. Dan, but they are some of the top competitors we've seen in probably three years. They weren't allowed to bring their guns. He accidentally just hurt his partner there. I don't know how. There, I, I would say at this point it's a 70-30 with Dr. Don and Dr. Dan. Dr. Don, you just fucked up. <laughs> what? A what? You blew everything. You absolutely blew it. Sweet Ryan, that's like a 4,000 pound hunk of concrete on the top rope right now. Waiting for Dr. Don to get up. While Dr. Dan has Beanbag Sonic up in a fireman's carry. Beautifully executed while still waiting. <laughs> Didn't even affect him. He just got him with the tip of his toes. He just scratched under his mustache with that kick. He waited so long to time that, too, but they're not known for their agility. Uh, Wall-type Monster Rancher monsters are very... They're, no, they're known for strength, not for finesse. Just going onto the back of Sweet Ryan. Dr. Dan now. Uh, sorry, there is a blockage in the way. I don't know what happened. You have a giant person standing in front of the camera. Uh-oh. It has the momentum shifted here with Beanbag Sonic and Dr. Don and Dr. Dan. No, just when you thought it could have changed. The reversals here. It seems to be the reversal king is Dr. Don. I probably said their names backwards five times. Uh, they just dropped him on his head. 
He just picked him up and just dropped him on his head. Beanbag Sonic. Just absolutely... Oh, he was going for a dab there! Never taunt in the middle of a match. He was going for a dab and he got caught by Dr. Dan. Dr. Donna, Dr. Dan now double teaming Sonic. Caught him right in the back. Ooh! I'm not sure Dr. Dan's getting up from that one. Throwing the table outside for some strange reason. Sweet Rye now. I have really no idea what they're doing. It's the first person to go through a table that their team loses. He's, he's wrapping up both of his arms now. Throwing it behind a German suplex with his arms tied behind his back. The AI is... His, his AI is really dumb. He's desperately trying to figure out how to pick up the table. He got confused there. They... Must, what the hell was that? No, don't, don't, don't set it up and then get thrown through it, beanbag. This could be it. He doesn't move through this table. This is it. It's game over. Beanbag Sonic. This is it. That's it. Power bomb through the table. Beanbag Sonic and Sweet Rider are your winners. Unbelievable super kick. That was intense. That's what set it all up. And here's the finisher here. He just throws him through the table into the corner. I think he may have gotten injured there himself. It's all right. We're going to give you meat tonight. Well, I'm gonna give, I'll give a potato to Sweet Rind. But he's getting meat and he's getting candy. There they are. Two best friends. From one of the best PlayStation 1 games ever. Uh... Dr. Don and Dr. Dan, thank you for participating. But it's time for you to go home. Because uh, you two are not in the Rumble. So, go home. That was a fucking abysmal. Oh. No, okay, I know I know what this is. They make a lot of money. So, I, I kind of let them use the space here at the German Arena. So, it's okay, though. It, it, this, 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 I don't think this will take very long. So... Yeah, this won't take very long. Yeah, they, they filmed a YouTube video. Oh, that's Gary the fuck up and Bill Crazy. I let them... Well, they were supposed to come out. Yeah, they're making like a hardcore, like, we're fucked up YouTube video. Okay. Yeah, oh. So that's Gary the fuck up. That's the cameraman. I'm not sure what they're doing back here, though. I, just, I let them use the space. They make like 30 million dollars a year, guys. They're one of the most subscribed YouTube channels. Uh, that's something I heard. I, I've been wondering about the feet there. Uh, th apparently, for a top YouTube dares thing that he did a long time ago, he had his feet severed and had bird feet put on. Surgically. So, I, I guess that he, he's kind of fucked up. He's kind of a fucked up guy. Watch out for the camera there. So they're filming. Oh, that that, look, that, that might look nice on the uh, on the YouTube channel. Ooh, that was insane! Wow, he just jumped into the wall, smashing his face on the ground. These guys are fucked. What else are they gonna do for the video? Ooh, right into that. His, his head just hit the top of that amp there. They're gonna do it again. No. Yeah, I took like a sixty or seventy thousand dollar commission for this. Into the wall, cool. <laughs> no, they, this is just what they do. They jump into pools with fucking like blood pools. They, they shoot baseballs at each other out of a pitching machine. I think number three or four most subscribed, like I said. I'm not sure, like, how this is going <laughs> to... Oh, they fucked that one up. Nah, they'll, they'll take care of that in editing. They'll edit that one out. Oh, he's setting up the shot. 
He's setting up a really good camera angle here. Oh, right in the balls! Dude, they just got a ball shot. I can't wait to see that in a compilation. <laughs> Kick the dirt on him. Face. <laughs> That might be the last video he ever made. <laughs> you can't just like stomp on somebody's head. <laughs> he survived way worse. That's it? You've been like, you've jumped off a building before, man. You've been electrocuted. You can't like your head stepped on and you die. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I almost want to do it again. Because that's so... There's so many ways for them to do fucked up shit back here. They can... I may... I checked a bunch of boxes for them to, like, fucking, like, kill each other back here. And you step on his head and that's it? He's dead? I wonder who the first contestant is. It's all random. It's completely randomized, so I have no idea. I'm watching this at the same time as you guys. The first contestant coming out. Why is there music? Why is there music for Jex? There shouldn't be any music, but there's Jex, the first contestant. <laughs> Making his first ever appearance. One of the most highly skilled video game players to ever live. There he is, he's got... I don't think he had a... And he had an embroidery down, I see. That's a pretty nice embroidery. I will say, it looks pretty nice. Can we see some Jexes in the chat? Uh, I would like to see, it, maybe. Have we already seen it. He's at a severe disadvantage, though. Because Jex is number one, which is nearly impossible. Maybe he'll go all the way. We've seen Stranger Things, for sure. Tag me in. Uh, no. That's not gonna happen. Contestant number two! The first two. Who is number two? I'm excited, I'm ready. That's Sweet Rind! Sweet Rind is contestant number two. Just coming off of a victory with Beanbag Sonic. Sweet Ryan and Jex are the first two. <coughs> I wonder how long it's going to take. David and Goliath. Well, this is Jex we're talking about. This ain't just some shitty regular Germa. You know, this is my alternate personality, Jex. 2018 Germania Germa Rumble has started. Ooh, game almost crashed at the very beginning. That would have been real bad. But we got Jax and Sweet Rind in at the very beginning here, trying to get us up the leg there. Nice. Throwing him backwards. And this, we already have another contestant coming in here. Already. It hadn't even been 20 seconds. Contestant number three coming in as Jax does a patent to German move. Garrett's coming in next from the Sims Murder House. As contestant number three. And there he is. Making his way. Ooh, nice fireman's carry. Tossing him over the shoulder there. Blocks that punch. Jex is going to be in it. I, I would triple or quadruple or septuple team Jex. He has the highest stats in the whole game. He's, li he's literally unbeatable. He is 100% he is unbeatable. I'd like to see what they do here. As Garrett is just taunting the crowd, here comes contestant number four. It's Pinwheel! Pinwheel with a small eye. He just picked him up and made him do a leg drop onto Sweet Ryan's head. 
That was a tag team effort there. That was not somebody doing a move. That was an actual double team on Sweet Ryan. So you got Jex, Pinwheel, Garrett, and Sweet Ryan in the ring right now. And Sweet Ryan is going to try to eliminate the competition here. Can Sweet Ryan get rid of Jex? Is Jex going to go out first ever? No, that can't be. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's, it's impossible. I told you. Here comes contestant number five, Lou. Oh, of course. I know who Lou is. That's Lou Elbertson from the Elbertson family. Jeremy's Uncle Lou. Jex and Uncle Lou, both incredibly powerful. He was so excited to come here. He was so excited he was going to make his first appearance. And he's going to eliminate Pinwheel for Jeremy. Because he knows he hates his fucking character and he hates all the chat memes. No, he's not strong enough. And uh, without even thinking, Sweet Rind has been eliminated. And now we've got Jex giving a power bomb, and here comes Glue Man. Glue Man making his appearance. Jex seems to, for some reason, have power bombed Uncle Lou, and he's Glue Man is going to go right for Jex. He is certain that if he wants to win this Rumble for the first time ever, he's been a part of every single Rumble. He has to take out the strongest competitor, but it's going to be very difficult for Glue Man. We've got a very, very full ring here. Sweet Rhyme first to be eliminated. Jex with a jumping drop kick on Glue Man. This is going to be a tough one. And Dr. Schmeitzen, the lie detector doctor, making his first ever appearance as well. A lot of first timers here. Dr. Schmeitzen trying to go for a diving face butt. But he did not make it. Garrett now is going to get over the top ropes. Is it possible they're going to double team Garrett here? Lou and Pinwheel. There he goes. Garrett has been eliminated by Uncle Lou and Pinwheel. Dr. Schmoitzen, Lou, Jex, Glue Man and Pinwheel. Here comes another contestant. I'm hearing a lot of boos. Oh, they what is that, Bill? Oh, did he get up? Did he actually get up? It's Bill Crazy! He's actually not dead. <laughs> Dr. Schmoitzen is about to eliminate Jex. No, it's impossible. It's it's li literally not even possible. Good luck. He's the most undisputed video game champion to ever live. Bill Crazy now has Uncle Lou in a power bomb. Is he going? <laughs> Jex did not like that. His Uncle Lou has been eliminated. Oh my God. Is he gonna do it? <laughs> Matches stank from he's naked. He's naked. Matches stank from Oblivion is going to get instantly eliminated. Bill Crazy is gone. Lou is gone. Jex doing some fancy footwork, taunting the crowd. He knows he is an undisputable champion. He'll never be beaten. Nice right hand on the matches stank. Or the flu for those of you that are keeping track. Pinwheel now two weird characters from very different games. Is it possible? Will Pinwheel be eliminated by? No, not by Magistank the Flu. Dr. Schmoitzen now, he's got a cure for the Flu. It's called two right hands and an elbow to the back of the skull. He's got a cure for the Flu. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in here next is the car valet from Sleeping Dogs. Somebody order a car? I think so. There he is, the car valet. Ooh, and immediately gets stopped by Glue Man. We got the Dr. Schmoitzen now who seem to have Oh no, whoa, is 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 car is the car valet gonna actually eliminate Glue Man? This would be so sad. This would be so sad for Glue Man. He's tried so many times. He's tried Jex is about to be eliminated by Pinwheel. Don't you fucking dare. No. Ah, yes, it's impossible. Don't do it. Do not, Pinwheel, do not eliminate Jex. Please, God. Thank God. Here comes the green screen. Put whatever character you want here. This is the green screen from last weekend. If you want to put, uh, like, Super Mario here, or you want to put, I don't know, like, the fat guy, or, like, uh, Peter Griffin or something, he's there for you. He's marked. He's huge, but well, the green screen is huge. Dr. Spunks are now going with a couple of kicks into Jex's face. There are so many people in this ring. It's actually getting ridiculous. 
What? Is that actually Sans from Undertale? That's Sans from Undertale. There he is. There are too many people in the ring. Sans making his first appearance in Gerber Rumble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are eight people in the ring. This is Blue Man gonna get his elimination here on <laughs> Dr. Schmoikson. This is a, this is assault on, on another person. Ooh, but he reverses it. Green screen now. We got the car valets in a bad spot. Dr. Schmoikson now trying to. Oh, no. <laughs> the green screen. The green screen almost just eliminated Sans in what seems like three or four seconds. How do you fight a green screen? You just get tangled up in it. You can't even go near it. You're going to cast shadows on it. People are going to scream at you. Blue Man, though, trying again. Trying to do it. No. No eliminations. With eight people. Blue Man reverses it now. Is it going to push him out? There's a lot of possibilities here. Jex just eliminated the car valet. That's another elimination from Jex. He was the first one in. Will he be the last one in as well as to go after Pinwheel? Dump him out of here. Jex is unbeatable. And I mean that. I mean it. And he's not going to lose to Pinwheel. No, like, old shit Germa beat Pinwheel. Jex cannot lose to Pinwheel. That would... Don't do it. Please don't do it. Fight back, Jex! Do something! Jex, the throw up! There we go. Thank God. <laughs> the green screen now has got Dr. Schmoikson while Sands is in the corner. Is he going to go for elimination? I wonder what character is about to eliminate Dr. Schmoikson. He's got a chance. No, no, he's not gonna. <laughs> a shooting star press from Magistag, and there goes Dr. Schmoikson. Dr. Schmoikson is gone. <laughs> Pinwheel is just taunting. Pinwheel is taunting everybody. Sands did not like that. Sands is going to come up with Pinwheel. Now gets uh, chopped in the face for his efforts. Here comes... What is with the moves from Magistan? Another competitor. It seems like ages since we've seen somebody new. And it's being back Sonic. Coming in somewhere about at the midway point. That's a pretty good place to be. Being back Sonic. Making his first ever appearance in the Rumble. What happened? Wait, did, wait, 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 did Jackson, wait, hold on! Hey! No! <laughs> hold on, Jax, who, I didn't even see it! Who eliminated Jax and Gloomin? Those are the two favorites. They, they not gonna win. Jax and Gloomin are both gone. Did the green screen eliminate Jax? No fucking way. <sighs> God damn it. I was looking at, like, I was looking at, uh, They're both doing the same animation. There goes Jex and Blue Man. Blue Man will never win. He's just never gonna win. Well, take your pick in here. I'm rooting for Beanbag Sonic. I think he deserves it. Yeah, Beanbag Sonic and Sans both equal weight here. Sonic is fresh. Beanbag Sonic is brand new, so no fatigue. While Sans, what does Sonic have in mind here? What is he doing? Beanbag Sonic. You hear that crowd scream? Is Beanbag Sonic going to go around and eliminate every person? That is, an that is elimination number one for Beanbag Sonic. Dropped him on his head. Here comes another contestant. All the way from the one stream that everybody hated. Soon to be on a Christmas special. It's BF Bugleberry. Resident scary storyteller. There goes... There goes Pinwheel. The green screen is too strong. The green screen is too strong. I don't know why he's this powerful. BF Bugleberry. Sans is gone. Green screen now looking like the person to beat here. <laughs> Sans is still outside. Beanbag Sonic, the green screen. Willem Dafoe is number 15 at the halfway mark. We have made it to halfway through the 2018 Rumble. And there is Willem Dafoe, something of a, something about a scientist. There he is. Half of one of Jeremy's emotes. And please get rid of the fucking green screen. Do it, Dafoe. Channel the goblin. You can do it. Channel the green goblin. He's green. He doesn't even want to do it. He doesn't even care. What? 
Why did you do that? Let the goblin take over. Don't just let him eliminate you. What are you doing? <laughs> no, Bu Bugleberry is gone. Bugleberry, I, I wanted him to win. Bugleberry's gone. Gets eliminated by Beanbag Sonic. And in comes Binary Man. 0110100022. From the detective stream. He's incredibly strong. No, <laughs> he's not. Oh, no, he's not. It's Beanbag Sonic about to... Yeah, Binary Man 01101001011. Welcome to the Rumble. Nice cartwheel by the Green Goblin, a.k.a. Willem Dafoe. Just testing the mat, I guess. Beanbag Sonic, it would be a shame if Binary Man eliminated you. It's all right. Because I, I, I think I, I just heard something. I just heard that I've waited at the green screen's about to come out. Green screen's going out. Maybe. Wall Dad's coming in. No, it's oh what a right hand by Wall Dad. I just heard a sledgehammer break over on the side of the wall there, and I I heard it, but. What does he have for a t-shirt? What is that? Is it oh, okay, he's wearing his son's Minecon shirt. And, okay. That's fine. He, he, I mean he has to find a way to put clothes on. He's hiding in the wall. Uh, Wall Dad uh, from House Flipper. Uh, what's that smell? Huh. What's that? Mm, that, that smells delicious. That smells, smells kind of like a red blend wine to me. Binary Man has been eliminated as red blend. The wine glass with the cork head comes in. Binary Man is gone. Beanbag Sonic is still in. Magistank is still in. Willem Dafoe is still in. Green screen. Sonic is about to get eliminated by the red blend. Oh, that would be unfortunate. Ah, it does taste great, though. Beanbag Sonic is on the ropes. No, Wall Dad misses a punch there from the green screen. Oh, and here comes Adam Sandler. No, <laughs> no. No, the green screen needs to be eliminated. Adam Sandler going right for the green screen using his comedic comedy technique. Will he eliminate the green screen? pick him up. He's fired up after that loss. Adam sent and there goes the Red Blend. Beanbag Sonic has eliminated another contestant. Red Blend is now gone. But it is good. So you got Willem Dafoe, Beanbag Sonic, Green Screen, Adam Sandler, and Magistank. Except maybe not for long. Big drop kick there by Willem Dafoe. Don't. The Green Screen's about to eliminate another person. <laughs> No! No! <laughs> Somebody has to stop him. Somebody stop the green screen before he eliminates like 50 people. Hopefully it'll be Elvis. Hopefully it'll be Elvis from Las Vegas, Nevada. Come on, get in there, Elvis! German's move to Vegas has proved to be successful. Uh, Elvis, of course. And look at how many people it takes to try to get the green screen out. You need three. Elvis, get over. Don't touch Beanbag Sonic. Go after the green screen. He's unbeatable. He's the Jex of this competition. What are you thinking? Nice reverse. And there goes Beanbag Sonic. Elvis eliminated Beanbag Sonic. Sad day. But he may eliminate the green screen. That's unfortunate. Oh, fucking great. How did he get in here? Really? He fucking... He hacked my... He hacked my fucking game. Put himself in. A fucking loser. That's Grillmaster XBBQ. The guy that I, I like made a video with or something. Like, it, he's another like streamer. He sucks. This is his like haha ultimate like I got you right. Like you come into like, the German Rumble like my fucking thing. I, I don't even know what he made his stats. But that's fucking annoying. Anyways, Grillmaster X Barbecue. An old cooking channel from YouTube is going to be welcomed by Gary the Fuck Up. Maybe Gary the Fuck Up can uh, get some more YouTube footage of him hurting people. As he's got Willem Dafoe over the shoulder here. No, gets reversed by Willem Dafoe. Elvis, Grillmaster, the green screen, Gary the Fuck Up, Magistank. And speaking of Grillmaster, is he going to eliminate Elvis? Elvis is not eliminated. He's still in the ring. And here comes Otto. 
Otto the Dachshund. It's taken me four or five years to put him in. But there he is. There's Otto. <laughs> hey, come on. Like, at least let him get in the ring for a second. Gary the Fuck Up is gone. Willem Dafoe with a lariat. An absolutely hellish lariat to Gary the Fuck Up. Both the duo of Bill Crazy and Gary the Fuck Up are gone. Otto comes in. The longest person that's been in here, the green screen, has been in here the absolute longest. It's been almost 20 straight minutes. Oh, right. I forgot. Here comes Germa Raptor. The most embarrassing thing I've ever done uh, is now in the ring. I feel like it, he deserved to be there. And I would make it, I would be so happy if you threw this guy out right now. I would be ecstatic if Germa Raptor threw Grill Baxter X PDQ out right now. What are you doing? Are you using it as an exercise ball? You're gonna let him do that to you? Really? Willem Dafoe taking a little bit, little bit of a break as the green screen is just knows how strong he is and knows that no one stands a chance. He just pushed Germa Raptor. And thank, <laughs> thank God. Thank you, Elvis. Elvis just eliminated Grillmaster X Barbecue to never return. There'll never be in another Rumble ever again. I'm, I'm deleting the character. Why did he... Is he eliminating himself? What the fuck was that? <laughs> what? What did Otto just do? Or did Otto just fake him out? Why did you put a raptor? Just jump over the ropes for no reason. Well, it's okay. Uh, Germa Raptor will get replaced by another Germa character. Here comes Odd Michael. You can't put capes on in this game for some reason, but there's Odd Michael. This is going to get interesting. There goes Willem Dafoe. Magistan throws Willem Dafoe over the top ropes. You've got Elvis and Odd Michael in the same spot. Will they work together? I would love to see a Germa, Odd Michael, and an Elvis collaboration here. Going after his own dog while the fucking green screen is about to throw another person over the top ropes. Thankfully, Elvis ain't down with that. As he breaks out of what could have been a terrible situation for him. No, they're fighting each other. Don't fight each other. You should be helping each other. The three of you. Yes, just get taunted by the green screen while he just does a boot party on Elvis. Magistank is still something. <laughs> he does like the ear clap. He just crushed us. He just gave him a migraine. Otto now has Odd Michael while the green screen... Thank God has not eliminated a seventh person potentially. No, there it is. There goes Elvis by the green screen, but I have high hopes for the Nintendo Labo. I have extraordinarily high hopes. Taking a long time to get in here. There he is. The Nintendo Switch Labo. And he just, just goes right after Germa for making such a terribly boring stream three times. Make sure you... Do it on the fold lines, crease the fold lines well, when you throw them out, otherwise... That, what the fuck are you doing, Odd Michael? There was absolutely no reason to do that. This would be uh, pretty poetic if Odd Michael were to be eliminated by the Labo. As the green screen is in a very bad position for the Quiet Man to come in. Quiet Man number 27. 27, in comes the Quiet Man from literally... The worst game ever. As he picks up Odd Michael over the shoulder. No, a reversal. The quiet Man is one of the last three. Get him out of here. Get the green screen out of here. Of all the people. I can't fucking believe he's still in this. He's about to throw Magistank over the top ropes. Is it going to be possible? There he goes. Chuck Schnozwell, number 28. Will somebody stop him? Somebody please. <laughs> he's just... He's just the new Jex. Chuck Schnozwell. Coming in. Will he be the hero that we all hope for? Come on, Chuck. He feels the crowd. He feels the energy of the audience. Will Chuck Schnozwell eliminate the most impossible to eliminate contender? He's got him over the top. Just barely pushing his legs. Come on, Chuck. Use the fucking nose! Use your nose, Chuck! Get it! Get it! No! <laughs> Otto is about to throw Odd Michael over the top ropes. 
And here comes a hornet from the fucking wall of the old house. If there's anybody that can do it, it's definitely him. And the quiet man is about to throw. No, thank God it was just a scope slam. Chuck Strasswell now for that insolence. And that... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. No. No. Uh. Well, the horn somebody sprayed the hornet. He's gone. That was all it took. Just swatted him. What an overhead press by the quiet man. On to Otto the dog. Odd Michael. Trying to put work into the green screen. Huge choke slam, and there goes Odd. Uh, no, there goes. Who the fuck was it? Who just got thrown out? Otto. Oh god, it's Otto the dog has been eliminated by the Quiet Man, and the Quiet Man's about to power bomb the Labo. He is incredibly strong. Green screen still cannot get thrown out after being double teamed. We only have two more people coming in. Nice miss, Odd Michael. You like go, you're shitty Doctor Strange. This booze coming in. <gasps> Could this be? Can we get the last person? The last person is Fireman. What? The, what is he? <gasps> Holy shit! He's fresh and he's the last contestant. Get rid of that fucking green screen. The green screen is dazed. He's tired. He's confused. Fireman! Oh! No, just barely. It, you didn't do it. I think he's so stupid. He, think he, thinks he, just, he thinks he did it. He thought he eliminated him. He couldn't tell. He was invisible. Somebody keyed him out. Somebody keyed the green screen out. No, there goes Odd Michael. Oh! Fireman fighting for his life. The green screen just can't seem to do it. One of these contestants will win. One of these contestants will win. The Labo has just been limited by Chuck Schnozwell, Fireman, Green Screen, and the Quiet Man. One of these four will be your 2018 champion. It's just absolute bullshit that he can just be keyed out whenever he wants. He can turn invisible. He can turn into other people. He can turn into you, and you think you're in the ring. What a reversal by Fireman. Will Fireman come in as the last spot and clean up the whole ring? No, not quite. Quiet man. It's dropped on the knee there. What is he pointing to? I think he's just trying to get some energy here. Chuck Schnozwell doing a dab from one of his best friends, Beanbag Sonic. They've become really close friends, actually, since those videos. And can Chuck Schnozwell with the strength of 50... No! No. With the strength of 50 bats <laughs> be able to throw him over. Uh-oh, Quiet Man with a big right hand. We've got to see an elimination here. we got to see a green screen Quiet Man elimination. Chuck Schnozwell with a huge suplex. You've got two fan favorites. A character that I put in because of a stream I did three days ago. And the green screen. Who is going to win? Chuck Schnozwell now in the air. The green screen just seems to pick up all these characters like toys. As Fireman is going to see an opportunity to pick up the Quiet Man and maybe get something done here. Scooping him up over the shoulder. Throwing him backwards into the ground. Ooh, knees to the face. That's got to hurt though. He might get burnt. The top of the head the uh, Fireman is very, very strong now. And I, I don't know what he's doing here. He's working. He's trying to break his leg. As the green screen... Has, no, gets reversed by Fireman. Not in a good position. Oh, Quiet Man has Chuck on the, on the... This is not good for Chuck. Quiet Man could see an elimination here and will be down to three. Fireman is awaiting the, the consciousness. Do it. Come on, Fireman. Oh, no. He gets stopped by a stray punch by Chuck Schnozwell. I will say, though, these four... They're giving it all they got. Chuck is just getting punched after punch in the face over and over again. Thank God he's got that nose armor. And now Chuck is in the grasp of the green screen. No man, no thing, 
No person has been able to stop him. As you see, the quiet man. Chuck Schnozwell is gone. It's quiet man. No! Thank goodness. Come on, fireman. Fireman, stop it. Fireman, no. No, fireman. Do what you can. No. Oh, no. It's... <laughs> It's the green screen versus quiet man. How many eliminations has the green screen done? This is like 12 eliminations. He's, is he gonna throw him over the ropes right now? <laughs> There's no way. I can't, I would be so shocked. If the quiet man eliminates the green screen. What? Oh, that's it. That's going to be it. That's it. The winner of the 2018 Rumble is the green screen. I can't believe it. He destroyed everybody. It wasn't even a chance. Nobody had a chance. No, not a, nobody could even match his strength. Ugh. The green screen. There you go. Yep. See you at WrestleMania. This is WrestleMania. He lasted a very, very long time, too. He, that was so long. He was like number one, like 11 or 12 or something? He's been the whole time. Holy shit. But it could be anybody. This could be anybody. Correct the timeline. I can't. That is the timeline. <laughs> Fucking green screen. <laughs> God damn it. Let's just do another rumble. So, this next one is not canon, but it's just for fun. I guess we could throw... Uh, how, how about this? Hmm. <laughs> it's canon. No, it, that green screen wins. I don't think the green screen has that high of stats. Yeah, he doesn't. He, he like Lou has more stats than the green screen. Like, we'll just put it that way. Like, look. Lou is 100 overall. Green screen is 92. Like, you know what I mean? He's a fucking hundred. But everybody, I, 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 I never put anybody under like 85. Like ever. Like 90. Because it's more fun that way. Because if you have, it, it, it doesn't really matter as much. When it's 92. No, they're all like in the 80s and 90s. <laughs> Sandler. What does Sandler have? <laughs> <laughs> that, never mind, that's not true. He's 79. <laughs> Alright, we already know how the rules work. Skip. Can I skip? Oh yeah, I forgot John Cena is in the game. Well, okay, I'm, I'm gonna get like another drink. We'll, we'll do another match or two, don't worry. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab a drink. Just let this play out. I don't even know who- I'm not even gonna know who the first two are, so I'll be right back. Oh, somebody said no Avril Lavigne. I- I tried. The problem is, you can't have, uh, in, I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't have, uh, female and male wrestlers in the same ring at the same time. I'm fairly certain about that. Unless they changed it, but I don't think they did, because I couldn't do it. So, I try. I, Avril Lavigne was supposed to be in place of like one of the one of like the red, like the red blend, like the fucking wine. That was the last character, by the way. I just like I was oh shit. I gotta have like a thirty sixth person. Oh come on! I don't want to see this. I'll be right back. All 
Alright, what did I miss? <laughs> Wait, is this- This entrance has been going on for so long. <laughs> this is all you've been seeing. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well here's the- oh, Here's alternate timeline. Let's do it. <clears throat> Welcome to the Encore Rumble. BF Bielgeberry, my favorite character. Uh, it's probably gonna get eliminated in like 15 seconds. Here we go! And different camera angle for some reason. That was nice. Can we get more? Cannon match? No, this is this is the alternate fucking timeline. You know like Civil War or Marvel? How like that did that happen in its own universe? Number three coming in is Bill Crazy. Why do they wipe the dirt? I don't understand. This is canon. This is not canon. It's not canon because Bugleberry is going to get eliminated first. And that just angers me. Bill Crazy now has got Pinwheel. Hopefully eliminating you first because you're the worst character. So please get rid of Pinwheel. Get rid of him. Yes, thank God. <laughs> and Ben, hey, are you sure you guys want this cannon? Because Beanbag Sonic's coming in at number four. Are you sure you want this to be cannon? You sure? Or do you want to write your fan fiction where Beanbag Sonic wins and eliminates 29 people? What the fuck? No, no, this is my favorite. This is my favorite character. Don't do it. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Come on, BF Bugleberry. Pull a green screen. Yeah, by the way, I told you this already. You'll be seeing this guy real fucking soon on Christmas. Christmas spooktacular. It's gonna be the scariest fucking Christmas dream you've ever seen. Ooh, what a beautiful move by BF Bugleberry. Quiet man coming in at number five. Thank God. Why would you roll to the outside of the ring? What are you doing? Why would you ever do that? For what reason? Bill Crazy uh, is still taking punches here from the Quiet Man. Going for his bird feet kick. The claws there is going to rip. I almost just said something really fucked up. Let's just pretend, let's just say he kicked him. German Raptor coming in number six. That guy back there is really excited in the white shirt. German Raptor. Which, by the way, again, next weekend is the movie night for the green screen stuff. If you have a submission, please go check out the Discord and check out the rules associated with that. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've already seen a couple submissions and they are... F what the fuck? That was crazy. This is now canon. Just because of that. <laughs> like, he's been practicing for his YouTube channel. Here comes Garrett. From the Sims Family House. I did that on the green screen. I did that f six days ago. That exact move. Nice reversal there by Garrett. <laughs> BF Bugleberry is still in. There goes the quiet man. Thank God. If there was a straw poll right now, he would be... Yeah, there goes Beanbag Sonic by BF Bugleberry. If I did a poll right now, I think the quiet man would be number one. Okay, that... What the hell is that? A lot of weird shit in this one. The computer's trying to load a bunch of random things. Uh, we got two Sims Murder House. Nice recovery there by Chuck Schnozwell. I mean, they all hate each other, so it makes sense of why they would be fighting each other anyways. Belly to belly suplex? No, he's just kind of hugging him really tightly. Not much you can do to Bill Crazy that he has not done to himself already. And German Raptor's about to learn the hard way here while he's going to get scooped out and possibly thrown over by Bill Crazy. Is it possible? Is he going to get it done? BF Bugleberry now coming in to aid Bill Crazy and they get it done. German Raptor is gone. Bugleberry showing lots of strength here. He crossed arm, check into Bill Crazy. After the help, I think it's time for me to fuck up your face. Car valet comes in. 
He's probably a little confused because this is the second time that somebody has uh, called in the last 30 minutes. He keeps parking cars out there. By the way, his entrance uh, is him riding it on a motorcycle and stopping. But, you know, we don't get to see that because this is the rumble. And I didn't make it. Number 10 is Sans Undertale. You left after the last one? Yeah, we're just doing an encore one for fun. That is now officially canon because the uh, Bill Crazy did a backflip, so now it's canon. <laughs> Sans coming at number 10 and probably instantly eliminated by Bill Crazy. Taunting is a bad move here. Why would you do that? He did the Hulk Hogan and he kind of looks like Hulk Hogan. I didn't intend that to happen, but it just happened. Otto the dog coming in at number 11. Yugleberry looks like he's in. No. Come on. Make this cannon. Big suplex to Garrett from the car valet from Sleeping Dogs. I thought that uh, Bill Crazy was going over the top ropes there, but no. Big wow. Oh, big wow. Otto is gone. God damn it, man. Can he catch a break? Yugleberry is top seed right now. He, he didn't even get to take a second breath. He inhaled, walked into the ring, ring got eliminated, and then exhaled. He didn't get to even breathe. But Otto the Dog is gone. Here comes Sweet Rind. Still getting close to the halfway point on our Marvel Ultimate Alternate Universe. Oh, there goes the car valet, Sweet Rind, with a big right hand to punch, throws him over, he's gone. Sorry if you were betting on him. <laughs> oh, that was just a wild. Just swinging in every direction was Bill Crazy. He didn't even care. He was just gonna hurt anybody that was near him. Power bomb, potentially over the top ropes, but to Sweet Rind from Bill Crazy. Are we gonna see it? Holy shit. That was that happened twice. They both did it. Bugleberry and Bill Crazy with the double. And it comes John Cena! The chanting his name. Stop chanting his name! Shut up, everybody. Stop saying that. No, he's gonna eliminate Chuck Schnozwell. You happy about that? Is that what you guys wanna see? Don't say that. John Cena comes in. I forgot he was here. I thought there was a mistake. I forgot I put him in here. Good. The drop kick him over the top. Fireman coming in at number 14. The Fugleberry has Bill Crazy now in a bad position. Fireman coming in instead of 30 at 14. Yeah, I want to see Fireman. I don't want to see John Cena. And now they both are working on Bill Crazy. There goes Bill Crazy. He's out. Add, add him to the list of people eliminated by BF Bugleberry. Ooh, right into the turnbuckle. Big Fireman with an overhead throw. Throws over Chuck Schnozwell. And they're chanting... They're chanting some shit for John Cena. Oh, that's great. I'm so happy about this. Is he gonna do the thing where he puts the hand in front of his face? And like sneezes? Nice! The Hornet comes in with a big right hand. Will the Hornet stay in for more than five seconds this time? Maybe. Cena. John Cena. So here's the, the question I have to ask you guys. Is, is it possible here that Fireman near the Hornet, can we get an up and smoke potential scenario here? Blue Man coming in at 16. If you had one opportunity, Blue Man, it's right now. Here's your shot. By the way, I uh, just want to make this very clear. The Glue Man shirt will be back on sale here. Oh! <laughs> Not going to waste any time. Get rid of Cena, too. Fire yourself up, man. Come on. Get rid of Cena. Bingo! That's a double elimination. Two from Glue Man. He's like, fuck this, man. If this is going to be canon, I'm going to make this shit canon. I'm going to win this shit. Red Blend Wine coming in. 
Uh, will Glueman and Bugleberry make this cannon, I wonder? That was odd, but nice work, Red Blend. Oh, let me go ahead and... Ah. Glueman with a reversal to Red Blend. The best kind of wine you can drink. It actually is. Uh, a lot of wines are gross. Red Blend is the best of all red wines. Highly recommended. You're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I know, that's not even true. That That's not true. All right, come on, Bugleberry, throw him over. Here comes the green screw. The green screw's stuck on the ropes. <laughs> oh, fuck you, green screw. <laughs> No, he ruined another one. He ruined another rumble. He ruined another one. <laughs> He's stuck on the ropes and he can't eat the game crashed. <laughs> He's like, if I ain't winning, I'm bringing the whole fucking thing to the ground. <laughs> uh, I love and hate this. I fucking hate this because we were in the middle of this. Like it was, we were do, we were doing something. Fuck the green screen. <laughs> it, now it has to be canon. All you guys that were so upset about this, what what would you have me do about this? You understand? What am I supposed to do about this? It, it's that he wins. I'm sorry. Backstage brawl. I'm gonna kick the fucking green screen's ass. Even as like old thirty three year old shit germa. The green screen has to be big. He's huge. He's the size of a wall. Let's... Oh, God. <laughs> and the, here's the worst part about this. This is very keyable. You can, you can put whatever you want there. So now I just fucked myself for like another four years. <laughs> Come on! Get up and fight him! Get up and do anything. Do something. No, don't let him beat you like this. Somebody has to beat the green screen. <laughs> Come on, dude. There it is. Ooh, he, he tripped. It's a little slippery over here. All right, let's go into the bathroom. I'm gonna like flush you down the toilet. What? <laughs> oh no, no, we're going to the TV. There's a desk, there's a table. Raw. Come on, reverse it, Jerma. No, get back in here. There's so much more interesting shit in here. <laughs> God, this is gonna turn into like Scooby Doo, isn't it? Alright, into the TV. Just like. Nice. Nice lariat. fuck is that? Who is this lady? What? Are we in somebody's office? Oh no, not the chair. Oh, not the chair, green screen. Come on, it doesn't look like he's had enough already. <laughs> Somebody said this is a porn intro. Just key out the green screen. Can somebody please do that? For the green screen stream next weekend, key this fucking guy out of here. What? No, don't do it. No. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm persevering. That's one thing I got guarantee for you. It didn't break. I don't weigh enough for it to break. I'm like 148 pounds. No, put him through it. Pick him up, Germa. You can do it. <laughs> do something. Punch him. Throw him. Throw him through the TV. No, don't. Not me. Oh my god. <laughs> I tripped over the chair that was in the way. Seriously. This is just sad. I'm just, it's like... A... 
I'm just getting bullied right now. I feel bad about this whole thing. Nobody can stop him. I lost. That's it. The game's over. No, it's not. Stay alive. Stay. Just, just fucking electrocute him. Just like wa Hitman style, walk him into water and fucking throw, throw like a toaster at him. Come on! No, I got a better idea. I know who can fucking stop this motherfucker. A little bit taller. Yeah, yeah, push him. Oh, come on, what the fuck? <laughs> no, come on! This is like the pet. this is my like ultimate character. You can't get embarrassed right now. Oh my fucking lord. Don't get embarrassed. Kick his ass. All the germers fail to the green screen. No. That's not gonna happen. Jex is gonna come back. And he's gonna hit him in the head with an iron. He's a fucking hundred. You can't have better stats than Jex. Who's ironing? I'll, I'll open up a closet and find one. I don't need to have an... I'll find an iron. Alright, wipe the floor with him, Jex. Come on. Why would you walk with him? You can't toy with the green screen. End him. <sighs> That's not it, right? Okay, we're good. Come on, come back here. Nice, nice, very good, very good. <laughs> Why do I care this much about this? I, I'm so upset with the green screen. Somebody has to beat him. Where are you taking me? Where are we going now? Oh my god, I tripped over the speed bump. Give me a break. That's not a Jex move. What the fuck? There are attendants? There's a truck? Oh. <laughs> Go to the car. Can we like run somebody over with the car? I will lose my mind if that happens. If Jex like gets in the car and runs him over, I'll, you'll, I'll die on stream. You'll see me die on screen. Come on. Twist the elbow. He's like, no, no, I can't take that. There it is. There's the Jeremy Albertson family line. Now, I grab your wrist. I fall down. You fall down. That's been for generations. My father taught me that. You want to fuck somebody up in a fight? Just grab with two hands their fucking wrist and fall down as hard as you can. You're going to fuck them up. Guaranteed. Break his neck! Snap his neck! Come on, Jack, snap Ugh. his fucking neck! Ugh. <laughs> no, just come on. What? Give me a break. And watch out for the electricity. No, no, don't. <laughs> Did I die? Is that- What? <laughs> no! 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 Come on. There's no way. I got fucking electrocuted. The thing that I said I wanted to do to him, he does to me. And I'm still alive. You can't stop, Jax. Even with an elect electrocution. Get over to the cars. I want to see a car death. We need super Jax. 
Should I make super jacks? Just make them like seven feet tall. <laughs> Just turn them like green and make them like fucking eight feet tall. <laughs> this is, why is this turning into a DBZ timeline? Oh, I can't beat him as regular jacks. I have to go super jacks. That's not it! What? No, don't taunt what are you doing? Fucking back hurts. <laughs> I thought I won it. <laughs> it's time to bring in Adam Sandler. <laughs> if, if, if it doesn't work, we're gonna combine Jex and Sandler. We're gonna make super Adam Sandler Jex. All right, come on, Sandler. It's always backstage. Uh, I wonder what's gonna happen. He's gonna push him and he's gonna punch him in the face. <laughs> Adam Sandler to his death. This wasn't even an attempt. He's 79 and he's a piece of shit. Oh. oh. I really thought he was going to snap his neck right there. I was about to fucking lose my mind. Oh. Okay, electrocute Elect Sandler, electrocute. Sandler, use electrocute. No, don't get electrocuted. Oh my god. Come on, fight back! Use the Metacritic score of your last six movies to combine into like 72%. Uh. God damn it, man, I'm gonna die. Where are you taking him? This is just bad. Take him into the car. Powerbomb Adam Sandler through the roof of the car. And I will piss my pants. Pee will come out of my fucking penis. It just, it's just, that will happen. Oh, what a reversal! Holy shit! That was an absolute, that was a beautiful reversal. Oh, come on, don't let that be the end. Is that the end? It always ends right here. Can we not end in the fucking hallway? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, attendant. Fire extinguisher, get it. Sandler, if you're smart, you're gonna get that fire extinguisher and you're gonna throw it in his face. Nice, come on. He did it. Is that it? No, it's never it. He's like, it's like Michael Myers, man. You can't taunt before. These really are like Microsoft 3D Movie Maker sound effects. <laughs> Get out to the cars. At least you finished it on the cars, guys. Nice parry. No, don't take him back here. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. Green screen is slow to get up. 
Now where are we going? All the way down this hallway. Wherever the hell this is, he's doing the I'm gonna end this taunt. Uh, it's, that's it, he's gonna taunt. While he's lying on the ground, you had an opportunity there. Nice yeah. job. You <laughs> fucking idiot. This is three matches in a row. He's tired. <sighs> and now people are booing. I don't blame him. I would be booing too. <laughs> no, that he's... Come on, Sandler. No, is it over? What's going on with his legs? He's prepping up like a finishing move. No, that's, he does it every time. And he wins with that every time. What are you doing? Adam Sandler is fine. No, he's not. <laughs> what are you doing? He's gonna break his leg. <laughs> get up. Don't get choked out. Oh my god. Look, he's limp. Did you see that leg? Did you see how fucked up that was? This is bad. Adam Sandler is limp right now. This is fucking sad. Sadler. A reversal! He's not gonna be Adam Sadler for all. <laughs> Sadler. He's got him in the choke slip. This is his finishing move. Do it. Holy shit. Did he win? He wins, right? Come on, at the Sandler choke slip. Dude, no. He can't. <laughs> oh, this is going on for a long time. I'm gonna fucking die. I need to stop. I need to like look away from the screen. God. <laughs> oh, I didn't stop. I didn't stop looking at the screen. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> All right, it's time. It's time to make super jacks. Fuck this guy. Let's fucking power him up. You know what I mean? Like, feed him up like... Six hundred and fucking forty pounds. Inject him. There you go. Right here. Fucking inject him. Actually, will be unfucking beatable. A thick ass neck too. You know what I mean? Right there. <clears throat> that uh, d d t t so many muscles in the back that it's actually like it looks bad. Yep. An incredibly defined chest. Washboard abs. Look at this shit. 
Look, that looks gross because it's so good. Look at these. Nobody has legs like this. And put oil all over his body so he's slippery and shit. I think he's ready. Two infinity gauntlets, two sans eyes, super saiyan. And he's fucking seven and a half feet tall. I'll, 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 I'll write Jax across his chest. That's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> In fucking, like, blood. No, you know what else he's gonna fucking have? He's gonna channel fucking Beanbag Sonic. Come on, Super Jex! This is what you were made for. You were created for this one fucking moment. Super Jex versus Green Screen. Oh, you think you're tall? You think you're like as tall as me? I don't think so. You wanna talk shit? Let's go! Come on, Super! No fucking way. Come on, turn up, Super Jex! Turn the fuck up! Are you really gonna let Adam Sandler do a better job than you? Give me a fucking break. Power bomb him through a glass table. You got two infinity gauntlets. Two infinity gauntlets. That's 640 pounds. He's immutable. He's unbeatable. Come on, Super Jack. Where are you taking him? Oh my god. He's only fighting at 20%. No, I mean, very clearly, he's lit the fuck up at like 120%. This is the comeback right here. What are you doing? What? You just missed like four times. You can't... What are you doing? <laughs> Wait, why is the meme funeral about to play autoplay? Funny. What the fuck is what? Break his neck! Break his fucking neck! Snap it! Come on, Super Jack! Oh, shut up. No, I don't. Timeline has been restored. <laughs> now I need to make a super green screen. <laughs> no. <sighs> and then we gotta put him in a fucking hell in a cell. Give him a gold thong. 
I mean, I kind of have to. I, I can't. I can't do that. Would you like me to do that? Oh, look at all these options. Look at all, wow, look at these options. Ooh, wow. Oh, I, I, I sure wish I could put them on. No, look at the hundreds of fucking options. No, 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 I can't, sorry, you can't do that. Sorry, it gets underneath, you can't put it over. I'm sorry, sorry, sir. Did you want to create a custom character? No. Get a, get a JPG of a thong. <sighs> it's only the front. It's only the front. Just hold on. God, what did I miss? What did I miss? <laughs> Nothing. It just okay. It just started. Good. So if you don't know the Hell in a Cell rules, the only way you can win is by pinning. You just have to pin the guy. That's it. But but super juicy, by the way. We got the two strongest competitors that have ever been in a German Rumble, ever. We got the super blue screen of death and super Jex. A mere mortals are in attendance right now. What about Zaraxos? Well, Zaraxos is the most powerful in the underworld. We're talking about on Earth. I wonder if I'm gonna go for a pin here. Super Jex on blue screen of death. No, not even a one count. This is gonna be like a four hour long match. We're just watching gods fight each other. That fucking thong. So Raxos is not even in their league. He's a commoner. I, I mean, he doesn't glow, so there's that. I wonder if we're going to see any... Alright, now we're going to the outside here. Are we going to get to see some hell in a cell mayhem? They're locked in here until somebody wins. Reversal there by Super Blue Screen of Death. Onto the corner. Falls over the steps. Play music. <laughs> Hold on, mute. <laughs> okay, so here's best fight music. Oh, people are gonna hate this. Now. Let's get the stream copyright striked, what do you say? Oh, what a reversal by Blue Screen of Death! No, that better not be it. One, two, of... Oh. Jex is bleeding from the face. The signature choke move from Blue Screen of Death. They've both evolved since the beginning of this stream. Can Super Jax make it a two for two? That's the fucking move passed down the Alberton line. Nobody can stop Super Jax. Not even God himself. 
Here it comes. Here it comes. The diaper! On the top rope. This is live, by the way. Look at the top right corner. It's live. Hurricane Rana! No, no! Reverso! And a spear! Can he get the pin? What a pathetic way to end! Does Jex have it in him? Can Jex possibly recover here? I don't think it's possible! Reversal! Oh! There's nothing that can be done. Jex is gonna lose! He's going to the top rope to crash the computer! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Can he? No! He can't! No, he can't! He can't! He can't! But wait, he dodged it! No, they both suck! Gods among men! Out to the outside again. Do a spirit bomb. Do anything. Climb on top of the cage and fucking kill somebody. Power bomb him from the top of the cage and kill him. Backwards. Oh, there it is. The backwards move. Is that gonna be enough? One, two, no. That's not it! That's not it! Wait, what is it? What? Why is the referee running away? <laughs> what are you doing? Check him! What is happening? This is so loud. This is so. He just pinned him again? One, two, He didn't get- It's too much for me. Crash it. Oh, two! And a back-spinning soccer ball kick! Can he go all the way here? All he needed was the default YouTuber elevator music. Was that gonna be enough? One, two, three, he just did it! He did- That was lame. That's- They didn't even go on the top of the cell. That was fucking stupid. I don't even want to see this. Oh, fuck it. Let's put, like, the shittiest characters in an eight-man fucking ladder match. Who gives a shit? Uh What a bunch of fucking dumbasses. Alright, good luck. Good luck to who? Wow, what a joke. This is an absolute joke. Nothing's gonna get done. <laughs> Nothing's gonna get done. There's too many people. There's two ladders? What a reversal by Willem Dafoe. Car valet is already outside. Adam Sandler in the car valet. Alright, what time is it? It's 8.09 Pacific. I bet you this takes 30 minutes. Oh, 
to God you guys like watching this. Because this is going to take an hour. <laughs> Duel. Horn and Wall Dad outside there. It's interesting because it, there's a pair for everything. Two, four, six, eight. It's funny the pairs. Wall Dad and Wall Hornet are fighting, which is weird. Kind of strange. Blue Man and Willem Dafoe. Wall Dad's really trying to get rid of those Hornets. Sandler and Car Valet. Is this, is this louder than it typically is? Why is it so loud? Sands and Fireman. The two, that's weird. The two fucking weird characters are fighting. The two human characters are fighting. And the two comic book characters are fighting. I, did, you saw me do it. I didn't fucking do it. Wall Dad, Wall Hornet, two normal guys. Car Valet, Adam Sandler, comic book characters. Blue Man, Willem Dafoe, and the two weirdos, Fireman and Sand. I didn't do that. It just did it itself. <laughs> Wall Dad is like, I'm doing this. I'm doing this for my son. Fucking mine con. Big clothesline there from Willem Dafoe on the car valet. Great commentary. <laughs> Mine con. What's with the ring? Why is the holy shit? Wall Dad just absolutely annihilated the Hornet. Just just punched him in the face so hard that he fell into the ladder. Blue Man now getting a couple of shots on Fireman, who has rolled out to the outside. Wall Dad with a wall knee. Blue Man is going up. He wants to win at least one competition. Right? You have to... The Blue Man has to win a fucking competition. He's been around for like six years. Can he please win something? <laughs> no, apparently not. Willem Dafoe puts a quick work of Blue Man while the two human characters are still fighting. Sandler and Car Valet are still fighting each other. Adam Sandler is kicking his ass, somehow. <laughs> Why is Fireman just sitting there? Fireman does not understand what to do. I mean, he does have like four brain cells, so you really can't put that uh, on him. He probably could have won the match right there, but he decided. He's decided he's not going to do it. He'd rather throw Blue Man out and go after him, rather than win the match. He could have just won. And now the Hornet's going up there to try to win the game. Adam Sandler now is the only person in the ring that has any eyeballs. And he's not doing anything. He's going to go up the other side of the fucking ladder. Stops the Hornet, potentially. Adam Sandler now has an opportunity. But Wall Dad coming in to take a fucking wall down. Oh, he's not strong enough. He's not strong enough. Come on, with all your dad strength. Take the fucking wall down. There it is! He's from House Flipper. He's fucking strong! <laughs> oh my god. He did it! Wall Dad saves the day. <laughs> and this is never gonna get done. Big! No, I thought it was going to be a powerbomb. Willem Dafoe on the ground. Now Sands going after Willem Dafoe in the back with the ladder. And now on the stomach, Hornet is taking a break. While Glue Man it has like three dead bodies in front of him. Adam Sandler is unconscious, sitting up. No, he seems to be coming too. Sands, Undertale, or should I say Deltarune, going up to the top of the fucking top rope to get the briefcase. Willem Dafoe is the only one that can see. Wall Dead! Get the fuck out of here! I'm the only one that stops this. No, he doesn't care. Willem Dafoe. No! <laughs> Come on, Wall Dad. Take it to the wall down. Wall Dad again showing his brute house flipper strength.
Baldad receiving a, a lot of punishment for his saving the match. Car valet. Is that a car? Tuck He's going up to the top to get the briefcase. Can car valet end this right now and cause a conniption? No! Hornet's going up top. The conniption is over. Is it though? This is just a brutal, multiple punches in the face. Car valet is stopping this. Somebody got really hurt, and I don't know who it was. Wall dead. Wall dead. He's like, yeah, I did it. I fucking knocked it down right into the sands power bomb. You can never set up a you can you can't set up a ladder in front of Wall Dad. He'll take it down and put a bathtub in the other room. <laughs> Adam Sandler is dead. Uh-oh. Sans Undertale gonna unimpeded go up top here. Wall Dad with the strength. Trying Glue Man now getting up here. Horn to getting up here. Can they stop it? Big punches, jumping punch. He decides to put Horn in a headlock. Wall Dad is going for it again. He can't do it. He can't do it. Sans is gonna get the briefcase somehow out of Sailor and Wall Dad. No, he didn't get it. He's <laughs> No. Car valley. Goes underneath his legs. Oh. Nobody wins. Hornets on the top ropes. <laughs> what a stinger. Let's call this stinger with him to full pointing to the crowd to try to get some. Uh. <laughs> I can't even fucking talk. <laughs> Don't tell Harry. Fireman going up to the top. Is Fireman going to get the briefcase? Can he do it? Unimpeded Willem Dafoe. Hornet is coming up here. Possibly to get it to stop. Willem Dafoe now pulling a wall down. Trying to get it to stop. Fireman holding on with his flames. He lets go. Gets thrown up by the Hornet. Hornet is now it's their opportunity to try to get the briefcase. Somebody call Wall Dad! Hornet's gonna get it? Nobody's Sans is standing there scratching his head! The Hornet is the winner. <laughs> Why is it showing us this? <laughs> oh, you kicked him. Who fucking cares? You kicked him in the back of the leg. Another choke slam from Adam Sandler. Don't we don't even get to see it. Ugh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> one more? Alright, we'll do another one. What a bunch of bums. Lou is a hundred, as he should be. Oh, it's actually a tag match. Waldad is in there first, so it's not tornado tag. Snickers? Oh yeah, there's like, like Snickers logos in the game. Go with the elbow drop there for Waldad. He's got that knee brace on, he's got a bad knee. Please beat him right now, Wall Dad. Oh well. Super Checks versus Snickers. I'm not making. That's it. Game's over. <laughs> Wall Dad somehow is destroying Jax. But no, Super Jax with the overhead throw there. Super Wall versus Super Jax. That's right. Dragging him to the middle of the ring. Uh, Super Jax is going to grab his arm. What's he doing here? Oh, of course. The secret fucking technique. Doesn't matter how strong you are. That always works. He's got Wall Dad in as submission here. Hopefully we get a tag in. Otherwise, Wall Dad looks like he could be... No, what a knee to the face of Super Jax. Two Infinity Gauntlets is not enough for a Minecon 2013 
gift bag with two stickers and a diamond pickaxe plastic toy. It's not enough. He's got dad instinct. Nice. What a just charging dash. And here comes German Raptor. The worst person you could have tagged in. You should have tagged in Lou. German Raptor now is going to get instantly power bombed. <laughs> okay. Good work. Good work. Shittiest thing ever. He's just beating the shit out of his head. He's already done. It's, he's dead. Game over. Come on, do like a raptor move. <laughs> Fuck you, Super Jacks. You get two infinity gauntlets. I get a mask from Walmart. This is embarrassing again. Somebody get, get Lou Elbertson in there. He at least stands a chance. German Raptor is about to go extinct. Just stepping on his head, going to the top rope. Somebody get in there, please. <laughs> oh, he missed with the stomp. This is German Raptor's chance. Into the corner. Tag him in. Let's get a double team here. There we go. Beautiful wall dad German Raptor with a double swinging slex. Whatever that means. Teamwork. Waldad now going to the corner. Super Jex now. Why would you tag it? Waldad is so tired. Oh dear. That's not good. We got a one. We've got no, only one. Only one. Trying to. <laughs> <laughs> you got nobody to tag in, Wall. <laughs> Germo G. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh no! He just put his legs in the air and put them up and down. Some super jacks. Throw them outside. Let's get Lou in here. Wall Dad going to Lou, maybe. No. Tagging back in German Raptor. What is this? That German Raptor didn't do anything. He pretended like he helped. All he did was jump up the ropes. That's it. <laughs> and look what happens. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice, nice. Good work, German Raptor. Watch out for the ref. Super Jex is going up top. Going for another somersault pin here. One. That's all they're going to get. Are we going to even get to see Lou in this whole match? He's, the, he's 100. He has 100 stats and he's just sitting out there hanging up. That's right, Lou. Uncle Lou. T pose. <laughs> German Raptor has Jex in the corner. And you could have guessed that was going to happen. Big crashing downward spiral into the mat there. German Raptor is in a lot of trouble in the corner. Super Jex is on the top rope again. The same flipping scoop power bomb thing. And Waldad can't handle it. Waldad's like, this is bullshit. He's got 100 stats. It's not fair. Wall dead coming out of the walls. Behind the wall, you could say. Look at this dad instinct. Save the day. Now, oh, German Jex. Super Jex is going for the next snap. Will he get it? No, he will not. He's powering up here. The two infinity gauntlets. He's got the mind stone and the power stone. He can control all of reality. And that's all it took was one, two punches. And a belly to back suplex on his neck. They're both reaching out desperately to get a tag from German Raptor. They know he's the shittiest character in this entire rumble. No, German Raptor, no. Nobody cares. It's not cool. Tag out. You have to tag out now. Before you keep embarrassing yourself. Tag Lou in. Tag out. No, you stop proving yourself. This is the worst joke you've ever made. Stop trying to prove it. It's worth doing. See? Look what happened. He's like, no, no, I can make it funny. I'll go. Meh. No, it's not funny. It's not going to happen. It's not going to be funny.
Sherma gets out of the top rope. What a reversal there by Sherma Raptor. All the shit we just talked. But he, oh boy, he got hit right in the skull. You don't stand a chance against Super Jacks. Use your teammates, use your friends and your family members. There's one right next to you with 100 stats. Stop staring at him. Stop. He scoops him up. How can he pick him up? He's like a thousand pounds. Holy shit. Holy shit. He's got a lot to prove. Dragging him to the middle of the ring. And he's going for the pin. Can we get a one? Two! Oh, a two count. Oh, unbelievable. I can't believe he got out of that one. Jerma Raptor had a chance there. A small chance. Oh, what a lariat with the leg. A leg lariat, as you would say, by Super Jex. There it is. There it is. The spindy doodle. I've said that word like 30 times already. It's not tagging. Wal Waldad's coming in. Lou is essentially a manager right now. And the Super Jack is like, fuck this. I'll, I'll see you next time on the next episode. And it's the next episode. It's the next episode. And there it is. He got him on the back. Backwards. Elbow by Waldad. Scoops him up with a choke slam. Could that be it? That's one. That's two. Can he get the third one? He got the third one. Can Waldad close this one out? Can it be the end of the situation here for Super Jex? Can we get to the end of the season already? Into the corner he goes. Waldad. In a power bump! Wall dead! He's got him in the in the sacrifice! There it is! The sacrificial wall! I can't believe he just did it! That's called the wall knockdown! The sacrificial wall knockdown! <clears throat> Here comes the pin! One! Oh, only one. I wonder why. I wonder why that happened. Maybe if you pinned him after doing the move, it might not have happened. As Waldad goes into the corner, we've got a... Sp oh, he did the diaper. That's a super diaper. Super Jack with a super diaper on his super fucking face. Right hand. Got him on the neck, spinning back, backwards, suplex, into the diaper. He has multiple diaper moves. That's diaper two, he calls it. 2.0. Whoa! Uh-oh, he's, he's got him in the bad boy. He's like, you're a bad boy. Is this going to be it? Can he end it with the bad boy? No, he's not. He's gonna get power bombed. One, two. Oh, Lou made an attempt. <laughs> Somebody just wrote, "I'm unfollowing." <laughs> Wall Dad catches the leg. Can he get him? Ooh, with a backwards neck breaking. <laughs> He's getting energy from Twitch chat. Wall Dad should have been the guy who we picked up two lariats. Three. That's going to be it. He calls that one the sledgehammer. He's going to do it again? No, that's 640 pounds. You got to be a goddamn titan to be able to pick that up. Lou is watching ever so patiently as Superject is uh, now. Here comes Germa Raptor 
What the hell are they doing? He's helping him getting on his on his his shoulders. Trevor Raptor is going for the Raptor lunge. That's gonna be it. <laughs> Teamwork. Can they put an end to Super Jacks once and for all as three? I mean two, because Lou hasn't done anything. He's stood there the whole time. No, he's gonna get power bombed again. Hey, how about this one? Remember that? What? Hey, get out of there! I'm Lou! I'll do something once! Ah, watch my look with that cool, cool kick! Going to the top rope is Super Jack slowly, though. What's the move here? What's the move here? Oh, dear. This is... That's it. That has to be the end. That's 20,000 pounds on his chest. He doesn't have a chest anymore. Wall Dad coming in! Catching his dad instinct. Stay with my son. How dare you. Oh shit, my like four year old almost fell down off a cliff. I got him though, in that like Reddit video. I caught him, I got a Wall Dad instinct. What the fuck? <laughs> Two, three, no. uh, I, oh, it's okay. I, I'll go back to Reddit. Turbo Raptor with a toss, and he's getting ready. He's getting ready for her signature move. Oh, there it was. I didn't have time to tell you what it was. <laughs> Into the corner, Jex goes. Who is he going to tag in? Oh, I wonder. Is it going to be... Center of the ring. Yeah. One, two. Oh, that's too bad. German Raptor going for a pin. Didn't get it though. Into the corner again. Lou Alberton to stop this and end the fucking match. Well, they bumped into each other. They're going for it again. He loves his uncle. It's his favorite uncle. Lou Albertson coming in. Let's see if he can. He, uh, he's doing the arm pull. He used to work in a meat factory. He knows how to pull chicken. Up to the top rope. He's finally got his pounding his chest. That's right. Oh, he got reversed by Super Jex. He makes a great pulled chicken. He brings it to fucking Thanksgiving every year. We don't do turkey. We do chicken. We do fucking Boston Market chicken. We go to the Boston Market and we get chicken. Corner to corner, Lou Elberton. That's two. Can he go for a third? Into the third corner. Do I fight him? Ah, uh, I, uh, um, 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 do I fight the guy and he's going to you know, get him? I don't know, should I? Mm, I don't know. Mm, mm, maybe. I don't know. Ah, he gets him! Right hand! Lou Alberton! And that's called the Thanksgiving turkey chicken dinner! Didn't even get a chance. Oh, he threw his hand into the ground! Unbelievable! Going for the neck break. Can somebody finally get the neck break to end a match? Nope. Let's go for it again. No, he gets reversed in a clothesline by Super Jackson to Lou Albertson. Albertson. 
trying to take his head clean off of his shoulders. Did not seem to work in the scenario. Now we've got, oh, he's dragging him around like fucking dirty underwear on the ground. He's kind of by the neck. That's a very bad position to be in. Is he gonna break Lou's neck? No, Lou reversed it. Somehow, ooh, took a slap into his face. Oh, my face. <laughs> now he's got a backward suplex into the diaper, the Duop Diaper 2.0. Why would you do All right, one. Not even a one count on Lou Albertson. Why is every move the diaper? That's the diaper 2.0. The diaper one is the double, f the feet jump into the ground. He jumps in the air and kicks you. Diaper one, diaper two. Just taunting Lou Albertson here. As Lou, it does not look good. He's got great stats, but he can't go up against the Infinity Gauntlet. He throws him outside. He doesn't give a fuck. He's gonna no. He's gonna wait. He's gonna go up top. He's like, I like this one better. He's up top. Is is German Raptor gonna cause a problem here for him? No, I don't. I, I would go like this one. No, no. I, I think I would. I think I would do this one. Three. Three. Oh, let me try this one. No, 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 no. I think the top left one's better. No, I think I'll just go out there. I, my brain is fucking addled Swiss cheese. Huh. And there he goes. Lou Albertson goes down. Now we got two count. 20 count means the end of the match. Nice reversal into the balls. Will it be enough to stop Super Jex? I don't think so. He's going to throw him into the crowd. No, just into the banister here. Five seconds have elapsed. Right hand, left hand, right hand. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, come on. A count out is literally the worst thing you could ever do. Why is the ref not counting? That was the longest eight seconds I've ever seen in the history of the German Arena. And there goes... <laughs> German Jex is in the ring. The Oh, make sure you show Lou clapping, though. That's great. You can't beat Minecon 2013. TLC match. Wall Chad 2.0 versus Jer Super Jax. Wall Dad. The only thing that needs to glow is his helmet. Look, you can't even fucking do anything versus Minecon. Remember when they announced sheep? They're like wolves? He was there for that. He stood in line. Hey, my, uh, my son's like a real big fan of your YouTube channel. Do you mind if like he takes a picture with you? He was there for that, don't you understand? Let's get some tables in here. Do a mega version rumble? That would take so long. Hey, uh, I mean, like, I know, hey, I just want to say that, you know, little, uh, little Jason is, like, such a huge fan of your channel. He really loved when you played, um, the Hunger Games. 
Do you mind if I get like a picture with you? Which is well him, not me. Thanks, man. Minecraft Hunger Games. I'm not gonna play Minecraft music. This is probably the last match of the night. Fucking my no! Th what the hell just happened? That was the equivalent of two planets colliding, and now they're outside onto the tables. The commentators are getting up. We got a table from Superjex, but Wall Chad 2.0 is going to stop that from happening. They're bigger than the tables. Uh oh. Where is Superjex going? Possibly to the ladder, it seems. Yep, you gotta get that. You gotta get the money up top. You gotta get your free two tickets to Minecon. And <laughs> while Dad is getting a table, there's the ladder set up. Nice dodge by Superjex. Wall Chad can't seem to get it right into the table. Now that is devastating. Superjex is going to the outside for some reason. I'm not sure why. Yeah, Waldad brought out his own wall. And... Waldad is... going and getting the briefcase. Superjex is... an observer. And... he's fiddling with the... The hook there. And trying to get it. It's a tough hook. Mm, almost got it. No, he kind of fucked it up there. He's going to try, try it again. Uh, it's a tough lock. Might take four, two sets of hands there. No, he's got it. There it is. My son! Yeah, I can't believe it! This is signed by all the YouTubers! <laughs>